primary learners. You have done so well this week. We're so proud of you. What a brilliant start to term three online. You've done a fantastic job. At school, we're all masked up. All the teachers, we're being very, very careful around each other. I can take my mask off now because I'm online with you. I have so enjoyed seeing all your faces because I don't always get to see your faces in school. You're always behind masks. So it's such a treat for me when I drop in on your Google Meets to see you all there and see your lovely faces. So well done everyone um, for being on time, in your uniform, having a, a great clear space to work in and knowing how to work online with your friends and your teachers. Um, now, a couple of reminders. Do remind your parents to sign up on Adana, on the app, for clubs, okay? There's plenty of time. The deadline isn't for a while yet, but it's good to go on and see which clubs you're interested in if you haven't done this yet and get yourself signed up for some exciting clubs for Term 3. They should be starting on the 31st of January. Read every day. You know that's what we expect all the time. Make sure you're reading at home every day, out loud or silently, up to you. And think about next week's Museum Day. Friday the 21st is Museum Day. And your teachers will be doing some things with you during the whole week, so that it's not just on Friday. Museum Day is going to be lots of fun. It will be online. It was going to be online anyway, because we don't have loads of museums in school anyway. So it's a great, uh, fun day for us to have while we're learning online together. So have a lovely weekend. Go and do something really nice out in nature. Get some fresh air away from your screens. Bye for now. Hello everyone and Happy New Year. I've got a really exciting announcement to make and I hope that you'll all enjoy taking part. Coming up is Online Safety Day and to celebrate, Lix has got a competition which I hope you will all enter. There's many ways we stay safe. Have a look at the picture and see how many you can spot. How many did you see? We also need to remember to stay safe online, particularly now when we're working at home or on the computer all day. And so that is why we are running this competition. Let me tell you more about it. The internet is amazing. A great place to learn, create and have fun. We need to make sure we can trust the information we find. How do you know if it's fact or fiction? Have a look at the URL. Is it one you recognise? If not, or it looks strange, it's probably fake. Is it a joke? Or maybe an advert. Check a website you trust, like the BBC. Does the story appear there? Look closely at any image. Here is a story set in France. But look closely at the sign. It's in English, suggesting that the image is fake. Who is the author? An award-winning journalist reporting only the facts or a social media influencer giving their opinion or the opinion of their sponsor. So there's no need to panic. Now you know how to separate fact from fiction and can learn and enjoy the internet with confidence. We want you to make a film about one area of online safety to share with your friends to teach them about how to be safe online. Like the video I just showed you, which was also made by somebody your age, it needs to be short. It can be no more than three minutes. And it should be based around one of the following themes. It could be about cyberbullying. Or about posting appropriate language, photos and videos online. 
Maybe you want to make a video about the dangers of talking to strangers online. Or the importance of password security. Have a look at these other videos made by children. Separating fact from fiction. Finding trustworthy information online. The internet is an amazing tool. You can find out almost anything online and read about what is happening all over the world. But that's not always a good thing. The internet is full of crazy stories and pictures. It can be quite confusing and hard to know what is real. Take cows for example. In between all the facts there are many silly made up stories. Like the flying cow. Now we're pretty confident that cows can't fly right. But what about some of the stranger stories about UFOs, aliens building the pyramids, and the earth being flat? So how do you separate fact from fiction online? Consider the source. Is the website well known and trusted like National Geographic or BBC News Round? Do further reading. Headlines can be outrageous to get clicks. What is the whole story? Check the author. Do a quick search of the person who created the story. Are they credible? Are they real? Ask the experts, teachers, parents, or search on a fact-checking website. And most importantly, trust your feelings. After all, if it sounds as silly as a flying cow, it's probably not true. Oh my gosh, I need to share this! <laughs> Wait, what? You have to see this. Corona is fake. We, we have to tell everyone. <laughs> I have to tell you something. What? Apparently Corona is fake. I need to tell you something. Apparently Corona's fake. Good morning and welcome to News Today. Oh, and what's this? We are receiving some news from multiple sources telling us that Corona is fake. We'll be back to you shortly after we verify this information. I've got to stop this before it spreads anymore. I'm gonna need this. Corona is fake. Stop! Don't share it. Don't click before you think. Think before you click. you'll see that I posted this video as a Google slide with all the details and links to places where you can research your topic in more detail. Good luck and I look forward to seeing some of your videos. Good morning primary. House points. In fourth place was Ebony with 303. In third place, Acacia, 348. In second place was Tamarind with 368. And in first place, we had Mopani with 419. Well done, Mopani. 